action of a step is, well, it's quite okay. unlike any other, okay. any other thing there is. Call it the moon hop. The moon hop. Good, good term. There he is moving up by the... Uh, I'll call it the MH. MH. Hey, yeah. Mr. Houston, did you get the Alcobot <laughs> magazine? How about an, an NAMH? Yes, I did. And we got about, uh, I'd say, 20 pounds of uh, carefully selected, if not documented, samples. Houston, uh, Roger, well done, out. Uh, at the second box. Neil was relaying worried he didn't have time to do the, to really document the samples, but got 20 pounds of materials into the boxes for them. Carefully selected, too. Unofficial time off the surface at 111.37.32. Arch, you're back. That's good. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. All right, Arch, you're back a little. Your head's up against. Yes. Neil heading back in now. Oh, soft. Roll right just a little bit. Head down. And in good shape. Thank you. I bump it now. Now you're clear. You're rubbing up against me a little bit. Two hours and eight minutes by our calculation. I'll move your foot and I'll get the hatch. Okay. And perhaps most difficult, two okay, thirds. The hatch is closed and latched. Hatch closed. Apollo 11 landed on the moon. Eagle landed on the moon. They have completed their EVA. They have gathered up their rock samples. They have deployed the various scientific experiments. And uh, voice communications have now been reestablished quite clearly between Houston and Eagle. Both uh, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin are back inside now, uh, closing out their activities and getting ready for what will be certainly some very well-deserved rest.